Heavyweight contender Dylan White has come out and said that Tyson Fury always contradicts himself. He said he would be happy to fight Tyson Fury and claims that Tyson Fury will not be happy to face him. He said that Tyson Fury said he didn't want the fight and he would not be called as anyone's mandatory or have to fight eliminators, whereas Dylan White is happy to do so to get his shot at Deontay Wilder. And Tyson Fury said there's no point Dylan White even getting a shot at Deontay Wilder because the same thing will happen to him as happened to Dominic Brazil. Now Tyson Fury is bigging Deontay Wilder up a lot. Well, he's going to because he's faced him. He hasn't faced Anthony Joshua, he hasn't faced Dylan White. So he's going to say that Deontay Wilder is the best out of the pack of them because he has fought him and arguably he has beat him. Well, not arguably, he did beat him, although he got a draw. But still, because he believes he beat him and the wider boxing audience believe he did, then Tyson Fury effectively has beat Deontay Wilder. So Tyson Fury is obviously going to say that Deontay Wilder is the best out of all of them because he has faced him he hasn't faced Dylan White or Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury claimed that Anthony Joshua and Dylan White will suffer the same fate as Dominic Brazil if they are to get in the ring with Deontay Wilder. Which is easy to say but it's a different prospect when they actually get into the ring because Deontay Wilder will not be able to fight the way he did against Dominic Brazil. If he gets hit from Dylan White or Anthony Joshua like Dominic Brazil caught him they will finish him off. And let's remember Deontay Wilder needed to get into a clinch early in that fight. I know he knocked Dominic Brazil out but Dominic Brazil kind of he let him have that punch. I mean I don't really know what he was thinking. They came out of a clinch, the ref reset them, Deontay Wilder took two steps forward, touched him with the left hand, and we all know what's going to happen after that. He comes in with the right hand. I mean, let's face it, Deontay Wilder is very predictable. We knew exactly what was going to happen. He was going to bring that right hand in after touching him with the left hand. That's always what Deontay Wilder does. That's the habit he has, and he's so predictable. I don't really know why Dominic Brazil had his feet square, and he just took that shot. He tried to hold his gloves up, but he's never going to catch a shot like that. That was even going to come through his gloves, even if he was able to catch it on his gloves. That was always going to knock him out. He needed to be ducking those shots. One thing Anthony Joshua is very good with is positioning, and that will take Deontay Wilder out of his positioning, and Deontay Wilder will not be able to use his feet fast enough in order to get out of the way of Anthony Joshua. That's the difference, because, I mean, did Luis Ortiz have good head movement? No. Was he ducking shots really well? No, not really. He just has really good positioning and good feet. Same applies for Anthony Joshua, and Dylan White is getting much better in that department also. And Dylan White has a world class jab and that left hand that is going to put anyone out if he is to catch them with it. Now Tyson Fury is contradicting himself. I will agree with Dylan White. I like Tyson Fury but I cannot deny that Tyson Fury does contradict himself. He said he will not be fighting eliminators and he is not fighting for the belts because the lineal status is good enough for him. Yet he said he will fight Dylan White for the WBC diamond belt. That is the epitome of contradiction. So Dylan White is right here. He's correct. Tyson Fury is contradicting himself. And I don't really think Tyson Fury really knows what he wants. I know he wants to fight, and that's it. If I'm honest, I think Tyson Fury really just talks before he thinks. So he just says exactly what comes to his head. And that is why you get some slightly odd comments from him and some contradiction. That is what Tyson Fury is all about. He just says what he thinks straight away, off the bat. Doesn't filter it at all. But obviously Dylan White is looking to get his shot and they're hoping to make the reverse fight for the mandatory space. So hopefully that happens for Dylan White. Because I believe he beats Deontay Wilder. And I believe Deontay Wilder does not want to fight him. Tyson Fury seems to believe that Deontay Wilder will fight any of them. He thinks Anthony Joshua is ducking. He thinks Dylan White doesn't stand a chance. But I have to say, I do not agree with him. I think Anthony Joshua has wanted the fight. I think Deontay Wilder doesn't. And I do think that Dylan White will beat Deontay Wilder if and when they do get into the ring. But that remains to be seen when that will happen. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Dylan White thinking that Tyson Fury contradicts himself all the time. And that he is saying one thing and then doing another. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, please like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.